four, three, two, one. A little unsynced, but could just be the stream. Oop, see some mouses on screen. That I can't do anything about because they're not my mouse. And we got to start off in Onet in the treehouse. We have Mad Cat immediately going to winners to get that $1 item. And Slug going to get the library item. Mad Chat checking out the stores. <laughs> Crimson Green, if you uh, wouldn't mind changing the um, the title, that would be cool. Do I have a little cutoff on Slug Side? Whoop, Mad Cat picking up Pooh with the three teleport. Slug right behind in Winners, buying some equipment. Do I have a little cutoff? I feel like, yeah, I do have some cutoff. 
going to make a visit at the ATM, pull out some money, take a rest. Mad Cat selling off a stun gun she don't need. So it looks like both our runners are going to go to Saturn Valley. It's a nice little teleport bonk there. Looks like we got some cops up that way. So logically, this seems the best way to go. Ah, it's just a mad duck. Yeah, Crimson Green, you would be, oops, excuse me, correct. Yeah, uh, well, they have the pack of bubble gum, so, um, yeah. Uh, Tomar says, I missed the intro. What are the flags this week? Um, the flags is Dr. Saturn's Choice with extended PSI with 50% PSI learn levels and 110 max enemy level. <laughs> with Jimmy says, but why would you choose winners when you have any other option? It's a good point. Tax luck taking down that boogie tent. Ooh, you love to hear the Nudgeon Man theme. Crimson Green makes a good point. Without the Eraser Eraser, Saturn Valley is probably the best play. Although I had a seed the other day that made me go to winners go somewhere else and then go back to winners and then go back to the other place that I was at without return mice slug going straight for the waterfall passing up that side in the valley and I probably would do the same too Especially at these levels. Having that 50% PSI learn advantage is pretty good. It's a confidence booster. And Mad Cat falling right behind. And absolutely, J. Tomar, the walk to the Saturn Valley is one of the least favorite checks to take, but with Fly Honey. It's a no-brainer. Oop, slug going to fight Frank. Let's see if uh, he does any real bad cuts. Oh, oh, she's got PSI rocket, and oh, that's Frank. This might be a this might be a zoom seed. We've got one sanctuary. We'll see where the logic. Mad Cat, right on her tail. Right on Slug's tail. Give a little high and bye to Frank.
I would think. I, I think slugs have tails. Ah, crimson green would be right. This is the day before 4th of July, so bottle rockets would be proper. Oop, we gotta teleport to Delam from that cat. And Slug going straight into the sanctuary. Yeah, most definitely. I already got a death from Ness. I think Mad Cat's pulling through the lead right now. She's going to pick up. Oh, oh no. Slug's not getting her teleport. Or did she? Okay, she did. Mad Cat picking up Paula. I take it she'll probably go do, yep, the teleport check. Mad Cat picking up a bunch of Repel Sandwiches. Let's see if Slug makes that check. They both made a safety save, that's good. Slug going to do some present checking. in the hyper beam. Slug's so just taking her time, checking all the presents, trying to see if she can get some good stuff. Oh, looks like she noticed those repel sandwiches. Pull it up on inventory. Wonder where the care key will be. And Slug making that time save by talking to the master in the temple. Fortunately, I have to miss the teleport. Mad Cat going back to threed. Oh, I guess catch the bus to Tucson or walk, which is probably, I think we've noted, stated one time that, yeah, it's faster to walk. So that's good to know. So with Tucson, we've got, we've got Apple Kid, we've got Everdread. Apple Kid is the nonviolent way to get an item, but with Everdread, you have to fight. Oh, got some spiders in Tucson. I still missed the teleport. Oh, it was a power. Okay. Wasn't a teleport.
Ooh, Mad Cat taking that teleport to escape the spiders or ants. Let's see what Apple Kid has in store for us. So far, folks, this has been a close race. Ooh, so we got the meteorite piece. Mad Cat eventually immediately going to fight Thunder and Storm for Everdread. Two key items and having Rocket Omega already. Who needs a hyper beam when you've got Rocket Omega? And just like that, Thunder and Storm's over with. Slug right behind. This could be anybody's race. Key to the cabin. So now they would need the pencil eraser. And Mad Cat going back to three. Looks like she's gonna take a trip to four side, maybe. Slug right on her, right on her tail. With a death loss to Poo. That's gonna be a little hurtful. That's a lot of levels though. Oopsie! Well, big league bat. Alright. Slug looks like she's gonna get the big league bat for her nest. That'll help physically. That's what we like to see with the, the PSI shuffle with the 50% learn levels. We get a chance to see, you know, these higher tier rockets and bombs. That's what we like to see. Looks like Slug's going to go... Well, I thought she was going to go to the hospital. Return mice. She's going to get that return mice. So we've got some split... we got path splitting right here, so... These return mice might be what Slug needs to scoop ahead in the last minute. Mice, meese, geese, guys. Oh, Slug going to Winners, and it looks like Mad Cat's also going to get Return Meese. Uh, good point. Wow, okay. So, I guess that still puts Mad Cat ahead. Slug taking the Winners route. Gonna go take a visit to the lab. Mad Cat going back to Tucson. Gonna take a little rest or get some more money. I don't know why. I would have thought she was going to sleep. <laughs> Ooh, Mad Cat going to hit up that store. She's also getting the big league bat. We got Slug taking a Nessie rod.
Nessie? Tessie? Tessie. Betsy, Tetsy. Mad Cat with the yogurt dispenser. Going to possibly get another kid. Or, you know, um, you know, Teddy Bear perhaps. Or Flying Man. So we have some split routing here. Ooh. It looks like Slug might be taking a logical step forward. Madcap might be on an unfruitful adventure. But we can only hope. She'll at least get a character and a key item. Cat has some presents to avoid. Ooh, she got lucky without one in the middle room. Ooh, we've got Ness's Nightmare. Or wait, is that Evil Manny Manny? Evil Manny Manny. Not quite a pushover, but, you know, not exactly Ness's Nightmare. So that's good. And just like that. In my personal opinion, I like the flying man because he's like a teddy bear that punches. Mad Cat getting Jeff. Yeah, that PSI rocket gamma does up to a thousand damage, which is insane. And just like that, Everdread's over. Oh, a Mad Cat with the Eraser Eraser. Is that right? So, now she has every reason to go to Winners. Yeah. And by having those return meets, Slug, uh, you know, is not doing a bad play. She can always come back. We've got Mondo Mole at a bookie tent. Ah, it's Jeff's item. Gotcha. Mondo Mole, ooh, looking like putting on some damage. Oh, wow. J. Tomar says, a max damage on Rocket Gamma, or Omega, is 1,800, give or take 25%. Tax Slug, putting in her meme. It is indeed a hefty Mondo Mole. Putting up quite the fight, so probably not logically the best way to go. Slug looking like she's going to go do the giant step. And Mad Cat got through that fight without any deaths. Let's see here. Signed Banana. Ooh, okay. So that's another Sanctuary. Is that... Once she gets to Winners, that'll be one Sank. She'll get the key to the cabin. And then... Not key to the cabin, key to the shack. 
and then she'll have side banana. That's four saints. So it's just a matter of getting go mode. Slug on our third sink. Oh yeah, forget about Milky Well. We have heavily armed Pokey. Oh, that's right. Slug did not do Milky well. That's right. Forgot about that. Hey, we get to see another Tessie. So I'm probably going to take that cliff teleport. Going to give the meteorite piece to Dr. Jeff's dad. Gonna go hit up the present room. Mad Cat making her way through winners. Through the dungeon man. Let's see what teleport we get from the Star Master. I did not know you could enter that from the back. To keep that in mind. And that's a summer's teleport for Slug. Slug going back to Milky Well. Maybe so, Crimson says. She's forgetting about Forside Desert, I think. Or maybe she just really wants to get revenge on this sanctuary. I mean, if I had some heavy hidden rocket powers, I'd probably be mad too. Mad Cat making her way up the ladder, doing a little despawning. Mad Cat now fighting Ever Dread. And Slug taking out the Sanctuary boss. Master Barf, she got her revenge. So that's going to be the third sank for Attack Slug. And Mad Cat's first sanctuary. So she's got the sign banana. I didn't see where they got the key to the shack. So I could take a nap return mice. Looks like Slug's gonna walk to the desert. Hmm, I guess she didn't take Tomar's advice. Or maybe she just wants to go to the desert. Mad Cat 
coming up behind Slug with the uh, the Sanctuary. McGurk says the key to the shack from the Apple Kid Mouse? Question mark. Oh, did Mad Cat not get that item? Did I miss that? Slug walking through the desert. Hello, Rocky. Rocky just got here. How many sinks are they each at? I think Slug has done three. And Mad Cat is working on her second. That's a good point, McGurk. Slug check that desert. Might have been nothing useful, so she's moving on to four side. Mad Cat taking that exit out. Slug looking like she's gonna go turn in that yogurt dispenser. Mad Cat going to turn in that signed banana. So both of our runners have met up back and forth side, but in two different parts of the map. Mad Cat paying that entrance fee to go see these giant dinosaurs. That's not all she's here to see. She's here to see the giant rat. <laughs> Rocket Omega. OP. I bet that's what she's gonna oh Ooh, a slug getting caught by that present in the corner. Yeah, sewers is probably the best way. <laughs> Crimson says, more like Rocket OMG. The OP is silent, Tomar says. Mad Cat just sloshing away in the sewers with some smelly kids. Tax Slug taking down that evil Manny Manny. One fell swoop. Fifth Sanctuary. Well. Oh, wow. And it's Frankenstein. On top of that. Easy. Frankenstein, easy. With that Rocket Omega. That Rocket Gamma. With that Ice. Oh, okay. I missed the Carrot Key. That's what I missed. Now, will she get the item from Tony? Slug's going to do the pink cloud. Crimson might be right. Those return mice might be... What pulls through. Maybe the difference. Slug pulling that return mice out. And also going to the LOM. 
I believe this is both of their last sinks. Oh boy, this is a close one. Oh, we got Belch. So we had Barf and Belch. Slug coming up. Mad Cat coming up on Slug's tail again. This has been a really close race so far. They've got all three ki all three, all four kids, and Mad Cat taking down Belch. McGurk says, "Does Slug have enough repels for Magikin?" That is a good question. I would assume she does. Find out next time on Earthbound Super Series. They're both taking that walk out. Let's see if Mad Cat has better spawn PN PNG RNG. Slug taking a stop for those repel sandwiches, which oh puts her and Mad Cat neck and neck. Slug just a little bit ahead. And if you're interested enough, you can find out now. Man, this, this is really getting me excited. I love to see these close races. They both eat a repel sandwich. Ooh. Are they going to check for items? Oh boy. This is... Aw. Oh, Mad Cat with an enemy. She had to turn around. Slug stopping for the present. Don't do it, Mad Cat. No! Don't stop for the present. Keep going! Oh no. We have a vote for a truly an age sprout. Got some krakens in the sea. Let's see if they get caught by any of those. Mad Cat narrowly escaping. Oh, we've got Guardian General. This is going to be a fun pushover. And then this corner, Guardian General. Now let's see who gets this. Mac, uh, attack Slug with the win. GG's Attack Slug. GG to the Guardian General. And they, oh man. That was so neck and neck. Oh boy. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh my gosh. As I'm getting ready to join the commentary, I think... Uh, I saw the slug finish, I'm like, oh my gosh. She was just right... You were right behind her. That Wait. Was... Let me check the times. Oh, wow, okay. We might have to, um... Okay, Slug said she thought she clicked it. Yeah, I saw that. Hi, Slug! Welcome. We might have to go do a play-by-play, -play, um... Go back and watch. I do know I hit my, my personal timer after the race time timer started, because... 
I thought I had that setting correct, but I apparently didn't. But I did start the seed as I saw the race time hit zero. Um, there was a delay in starting the timers. And Slug, we can't hear you right now. I muted your stream audio. Can you hear me now? There yes, she is. Can. Okay. Hey. <laughs> that that was that was close. Uh, Crimson Green's gonna go back and look at the retime. Yeah, a, I think you Crimson. I done. I mean, I'm, I think it's gonna be literally like milliseconds. <laughs> like, I'm coming up on my in game. And as the stream shows, it looked like Slug finished first, but it could also be that me picking up the restream had also some delays on y'all stream. Well, yes. what was your final time, Kat? I, I'm, uh, my I'm final time here, guys. I didn't know was, you finished first either. Was a three thirty nine oh eight or thirty nine oh seven, depending on the timers. My race time and live split timer are a bit off sync from each other. My final time on my live split was 39.03. Okay, my in game's coming up. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to look at the, <laughs> the in game times. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy. I don't, we've never had a finish like this. We've had always with the close finish races. I think 7.55. Mine was 37.58 for in game final time. <laughs> Literally oh my goodness. Wow. Th Thirty-seven fifty-five. We must have played exactly the same. Was it exactly the same or did we divert? Y'all had y'all had a little bit of um divergence. Uh, but essentially y'all y'all kept crossing each other's paths. Mm -hmm. And it was a very open seed. It was. Going to get those return mice was I think what pulled through for you, Slug. I mean, Mad Cat went by. She was right behind you getting all this stuff for a while, and then it switched. Yeah. Mad Cat was in front, and just had. Having... I know I accidentally teleported to Onet once instead of going to Delam, so I'll blame that for my downfall. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Now I have to race Charles. Awesome. <laughs> Oh boy! Excellent match, guys. By the way, edge of my seat this time for sure. This time for sure. Well, yeah, I seriously on the edge God. of my seat because I was pulling my hair out watching y'all both finish Magicant. Welcome to the commentary, <laughs> Pink Panther. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just, I just had to make it. I just had to come in and say something about that. Congratulations to both of y'all, by the way. Like that was a very, very, very good race, and I was, I was, I was pulling my hair out. I can't wait to watch. Sounds it. like a hair puller. Indeed. It is a hair puller. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I apologize. I do apologize, everybody. Uh, everybody have a great rest of the, rest of the excellent day, and thank y'all so much. Um, yeah, thank you. Y'all continue forward. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt y'all guys. It's all good, brother. <laughs> it's all good. Um, yeah, what a what a race, I guess. Well, we'll get the final results. Everything's looking like Slug's going to be the winner, but we have Crimson on... Uh, retiming and researching. Um, I guess for now we'll wrap it up here and we'll find out the results uh, soon, I guess. Yeah. GG, Matt Cat. It was a GG. Uh, this sounds like a pleasure of a race. <laughs> do y'all have anything, any thoughts on, you know, where you were going or what was happening, um, either of y'all? Uh, Paula was fun. You did happen to get Paula first. You had Paula for a minute before Slug. Um, I think I feel like there were so many options that I was kind of like putting things off that I knew I should have been doing. You know, That's I was like, okay, well, I know I have the yogurt dispenser and I know I have this, but like, right, blah, right. blah, 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 you know, and I, I think I did a couple of things I probably didn't need to, but we had those insane PSI levels. So it was just like, oh, one, yeah, right. You know? Able so, to do that fifth sanctuary, no problem. I ended up doing um, Everdread. Yeah. Yeah, both of y'all. Yeah. And... Hello, Crimson. Hey, Crim. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, Welcome, the Crimson. Official, the official, official retime results. Oh, boy. All right. Drum roll, please. Uh, 
Bugs wins with an official time of 39.02 and Mad Cat 39.05. So three oh, seconds. Wow. Goodness. Three wow. seconds. <laughs> three <laughs> second reds. That is. That teleport to <laughs> on it. <laughs> that teleport to on it. And Slug, <laughs> you might have been a little bit faster because we did discuss that. Um, when y'all were both walking to Tucson, and Tomar clarified, walking to Tucson is faster, but the bus yeah. to Foresight is quicker. And oh, okay. you walk to the desert, and we saw you stop by. You stopped by Mole Cave, right? Or am I? I did. I checked. It was yeah. Diamond. Yes, yeah, so you stopped by Mole Cave, and then continued to walk to Foresight. And had you not done that, it would have been close. Either way, it was a, it was a phenomenal race. I'm glad to see a race as close as this. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you for the restream and the commentary unknown. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, guys. Our next race is on Tuesday, I believe. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central. It's going to be Pink Panther versus Static. So the That'd races be... continue to, to roll on out. <laughs> Slug will be moving on to race Charging Charles, or also mm -hmm. known as Black Sesame Seed. And the winner of Pink Panther and Static Pulse's race will go on to race Sarah, and then we're getting into the meat and potatoes. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. Yes, enjoy your day. Bye, Bye. everybody.